Pugnala is currently the hot topic on the beta, 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 whatever you wanna call it. And I decided, hey, let's take this to an extreme just like with the bone. We'll make an infinity video about the evolution and if I was prepared then I would actually know the name. But yes, we will only use this weapon and no other. Now the game has a certain limitation on what you can get on your first two level ups, which is why I do have two skips, just to skip those two. And after that, it is only this weapon and nothing else will appear. I'm honestly not sure if we can win this or not, but let's just go through the level ups as you can see, base damage up by 3, there you go. And every single level for, well, a pr pretty, you know, pretty substantial amount, we will gain bonuses, right? I haven't tested this fully to see whether this is broken, whether this works or not. With the bone there was a lot of fiddling around, but, well, we'll see that later on. While a majority of you really enjoys the modded videos, there are some that, you know, are not the biggest fan of it because they will not play it. On that note, by the way, if you want to play it, just join my Discord, link is in the description, and go into the channel modding guide. I will have all the explanation there on how you can do this on your own, but I'll do a video afterwards where I will go for the very best build that you can have on this weapon. I'll go over different characters because it behaves differently, whether you have more revivals or just more amount, and we'll take a look at just what is the most beneficial. So here we have another level up, a pass through one more enemy, that is amazing. And well, yeah. Is it difficult? I would say in comparison to the bone it's a lot easier, because it can hit multiple enemies and that is of course huge benefit, right? So this video is less about, hey let's go through the struggle and just see if Dex can actually win without going insane, and more about, let's see how crazy this weapon can become. By the way, there is a way to prevent the game from offering you just certain weapons, right? Maybe you have noticed that, oh, fire one more projectile, amazing, we are starting to grow. But yeah, you might have noticed on the first two level ups that you have, you can only get weapons, active weapons. You can't get passive weapons, and yes, you also can't get evolutions, which usually you don't see that, so that's not a thing that you think about, but yes, that doesn't work. You could, in theory, change that if you figure out how it works, but I personally figured it's just easier to go for a double skip. The weapon is strong enough that you can do that. And it gives a slight extra challenge where you don't get going instantly, but you first have to level up twice. So base speed up by 25%, really good. Oh, it just feels satisfying to walk through the enemies and kill them. And I decided to keep the base area up by 50% every single time, like every 8 levels. Which sounds a bit ridiculous, it, it might be a bit ridiculous, but you know what, with the bone I made myself so weak that I had to make so much tweaking. And you know, I feel like it's, it's, it's maybe a bit better to just go for, I'm a bit stronger than I would be and after that you lower the values. I really can't wait to see what it looks like when you improve all the stats of the weapon right. Because we're not just trying to improve one type, like the amount for example, and just have 20 of them. No, we are improving everything. Speed, area, amount, whatever is there. I mean, you see the numbers, right? Now with the damage, I know 3 doesn't sound like a lot, but keep in mind this character also gains a might bonus for every single level up that she has. So right now we get a bonus of 15%, just for free. There we go, base speed up by 25%, and yeah, it's, it's going faster, I'm pretty sure. Now if it works as expected, then base speed should increase the speed that it rotates around you. I'm honestly not 100% sure if that is true, but it has a base speed value, so it should change something at least. Ooh, the first boss here. Pass through one more enemy. I did restrict the, the base weapon, as you might have noticed, obviously. So instead of starting with four beams, it only starts with one beam, and it only penetrates one enemy. This is why in the very beginning it took longer to kill all the enemies, but uh, I would say this is going well so far. Let me get that chest here. And what do we have? Cooldown reduced by 0.1 seconds. Nice! So yeah, for these modding videos with infinite weapons, I decided it will be way less about just a challenge and just living on the edge like I did with the bone. And instead, we just want to see how strong can this weapon become, but without making it insanely ridiculous, right? You still have to play for it, you still have to upgrade it, you still have to evade enemies, but you also get to see what happens if you would take it to extremes that you can't have in the game. Which I think is a very healthy combination. Just in case you missed it, I uploaded several update videos about the current beta update. And while there are usually some changes before they go live, like just a while ago, ooh, 
Ooh, ooh, wow, that was really close. Yeah, there are usually some changes, like just recently there was a fix to the speed of the weapon. It apparently wasn't properly applied. It usually stays relatively the same. So just one example for Christine. She started off with negative 30% might and negative 30% cooldown reduction. And on life she has negative 25% cooldown reduction and negative 35% might. So there's a difference, but it's not like you'll be fooled if you watch the videos. Okay, so how's it going so far? Well, these guys are rather tanky, but I think we are still getting along with them, right? It, it's not too, too difficult. Man, uh, there's something hypnotic about this weapon that I enjoy so much. And I really want to change the looks of the beams in the future, and hopefully I can give each of them their own color. Now, this might be impossible because the texture for the beams is taken out of one file. Like, there's only one beam in there, so you can't really change that. But maybe in the code itself, I could say give it a different coloring. Because if you ever did VFX modding, you know that certain things in there are just black. But in the game, it has a different color. So something must be happening that allows you to apply certain, you know, recoloring or so. Base area up by 50%. Oh my god, this is becoming really big. And that's what she said. But yeah, for the video where I will just look at the weapon and try to figure out the best build possible just to max out the weapon. So the point is not to make the strongest build overall with the weapon. The point is to maximize the weapon in the build and give it the other weapons that it needs. So I'm not talking about passive weapons there, but for example, some weapons, if you want to max them out, that's great, right? They are as strong as they can be. But for example, if they lack knockback, then you just go for Unholy Vesper. Or if they lack damage, then you just go for Labora, for example. That is pretty much what I try to do. And oh my god, this looks just so good. Panda Chest! Hey! That's amazing! Oh yeah, and in regards of power-ups, I removed... Oh my god. <laughs> okay, this is... This is not something you would usually get, okay? Oh, yeah, okay, base damage up by 3, that is, uh, yeah, well, whatever. Base speed up by 25%, that is really good. Base area up by 50%, I think this value is a bit too high, I'm gonna be honest, I actually thought it was 0 0.1, uh, 10%. Pass through one more enemy, and I think the next one is a mount. Oh, no, 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 cooldown reduced, yes, 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 good, good, good. Oh my god. Okay, maybe this is a bit too big. Yeah, I think the area needs some adjustment, but I think 0 0.25 is enough. Like, 0 0.25 is 25%. Oh, vacuum. Perfect. Ah, but at the same time, we shouldn't underestimate. While it's very easy in the beginning, keep in mind, later on, there are enemies that are super strong. Like, super tanky. And... Huh? Huh? Yeah, something is behaving very weirdly, and we saw that in the livestream that I did, where I used the weapon and chatted with you guys. By the way, thank you for joining, that was really nice. And one beam is always different than the others, like it seems to be thicker and just weird. Pretty much what we see here. That is interesting. Maybe this is just a base beam and the rest are duplications. But the duplications, they seem to work properly, right? Like how they should work. Huh. Like, this is, yeah, sl slightly confusing. Oh, nice, thank you. And cooldown reduced, and fires one more projectile, and base damage up by three. Base... What just happened? Huh? Okay, wh wh what exactly is going on right now? Yeah, something really weird is happening. Also, do you see these visuals sometimes here? These purple ones? Do you see that? Where's that coming from? Huh? Um... Yeah, I think there might be a slight problem with this entire thing. I mean, this looks absolutely hilarious, but the problem is there's so much experience generated that every single time I pick up one of these red orbs, I usually get one to five levels. Okay, there we go. And what do we have here? Base damage up by three. So we are now back to the start, the very start of the weapon, the level two. I'm not too sure what to think about this, whether I like this or I'm just like... Yeah, something is totally off here. But as I said, I think this has nothing to do with modding. Like, okay, what you see right now in this very moment, yes, that is modding. But this behavior of this one beam, or the, well, few beams now being different, you can actually see that if you just play with the character and you max out the supportive passive weapons, right, that help it out. So what's our damage right now? Um, I would say it's around 70. Uh, well, that sounds good. It's by far not enough to deal with the enemies later on. But hey, we are only at minute... What is it? 11? Yeah. 
Ooh, base area up by 50%, passes through one more enemy, cooldown reduced, fires one more projectile. I might need to remove Grove. Uh, yeah, what I forgot to say is, so the power-ups, I pretty much only took the power-ups that wouldn't affect this weapon. So no revival, no might, no duration, no speed. I don't think duration affects it, but, you know, just to be sure. Uh, no cooldown reduction and stuff like this. I, I stayed away from all of them. Man, this looks amazing. Yeah, but I stayed away from all of them to just have the base values. And, yeah, that's, that's pretty much what happened. It's kind of hilarious how I just stand here. And do you see this at the top where it just always goes up? Yeah. And it's funny because you can see here that movement doesn't do anything. Yeah, like I, I can just stand still and it will kill the max amount of enemies. I mean, I guess it makes sense, right? Because I pretty much spawn kill them. And I have a feeling that these beams down here, they just have visual issues. But they are as thick as all the other beams. Huh, so I currently have an idea. There's a vacuum over there. And I could just wait there for like the next, I don't know, 8 minutes, 10 minutes, 13 minutes, and then just collect all together. Yeah, that definitely won't be overkill like insane. Also, I'm pretty sure it's rotating faster. This might be a wrong feeling just because everything is bigger and goes further out. Ooh, what, were, what, what is the lag there? Huh? Okay, I turned off damage numbers, but that didn't really help. Yeah, something currently on the beta, 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 whatever, is causing a lot of lag that wasn't there before. Like, do you see that right now at 13 minutes I'm just lagging because of a couple of enemies? And no, this is not modding related. I just had a normal run, and I would lag at like 15 minutes pretty much. So at this point, the question that I always have to myself is how can I make this somewhat manageable, you know? That you don't just sit here and wait for all the enemies to die. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't think you need to. I will definitely bump down some of the values that I have in there. Just to have less area, to have maybe a further out amount, right? Because we do level up a lot. I actually didn't expect it that we would level up this much, but it makes sense because this weapon goes off screen. So it just kills everything the moment it spawns and we pretty much get a max spawn rate. Yeah, and the weapon is already doing 100 damage at this point. That is a bit too early. But then again, keep in mind, the enemies will scale with our level. So while right now it will be very manageable, once I pick up the vacuum over there, boy, they will have a lot of health. But then again, we will also get a ton of power-ups. So I think for the file that I'll put on the modding guide channel, I will have the numbers tweaked. For this video, I don't think I'll do it. But if you want to bump it up to this video, you see it each level up, right? You see the values that they... Ooh, what was that? That was a very long lag there. But yeah, you saw all the values that I gave the weapon itself. So if you want to have that one-to-one, -one, you can just do that. You Feel free to do it to bump it up yourself to change it. But I think this is uh, maybe a bit too, too, you know, an idle game simulator. It will still be hilarious to see what happens once we have, like, level 150 or so with all the level ups, don't get me wrong. Okay, 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 we are 20 minutes in, I can't wait any longer. I want to see what happens if I pick up this vacuum and then I'll search for another vacuum to do it again at, like, 29 minutes. So, oh boy, oh boy. Pass for one more enemies. Oh yeah, it's about to start, it's about to start. Oh god, okay. Um, it, it, no, nothing is laggy, by the way. It, it's, it's all fluent, don't worry. It's kind of hilarious because we also destroy all the braziers around us that spawn because of our insane range. Level 100, okay, pass for one more enemy. Okay, yeah, that's, 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 that's all, all, it's all looking good. No worries, that's, that's normal. Ha. Ha. hmm. Hmm, yeah, that is, um, uh, that is interesting. That is interesting to say the least. Oh, look at this. Okay, once I press tab, so tab just, you know, uh, slows down the game as much as your FPS is going down. So if it went down to 15 FPS, but it's supposed to be 60, it just quarters the speed. And boy, that looks a lot better. Well, do you see what I found there? Yeah, there's a vacuum. I, I know it's a bit hard to see what's going on, because uh, <laughs> we're mostly covering the entire screen with the weapon. But, whoa. These plants stayed alive. Huh? Oh, 
videos like this just always impress me so much in regards to kill record runs. The current record on Mad Forest, in the live version, not in the beta that we are on, the highest kill amount on Mad Forest is 79,000, okay? But we do beat that by quite a lot, duh, you kind of expect it, right? It's actually not that much of a difference, like we'll probably end up at 160k, which means we only doubled the amount of kills and we are pretty much 100% spawn killing the enemies since the beginning of the game. Not, not exactly the beginning, but mostly. Okay, stop coming in further, please. I don't like that. Yeah, so we will actually have a problem because the enemies, certain enemies, will have more health scaling than we have damage scaling. As stupid as it sounds. And most of the things that we have, like area and speed, will actually not change anything anymore, right? Because the enemy is already hit. You can't hit them 20 times with the same beam. I think this kind of explains why one beam looks different than the others. Oh my god, what is going on? The tap is not keeping up with this, like the slowdown, it just goes back to lagging. But yeah, the one beam that always looks different than the others is just a starting beam. Like, you can see the starting beam over here, and then it goes around in a circle, right? And eventually it gets to the point where you have the last few beams that got added. Ooh, 28 minutes from the stage 3? Is it time that I pick up the vacuum orb, or do I wait for the entire wave until we hit 29 minutes? I think I'll wait a bit. I can't wait to see the damage this weapon did in this run, because this should be almost the maximum. Well, not really, but it, it will be an insane value. We would have dealt a lot more damage if I just, you know, maxed out my level all the time, because overkill exists in the game, and as far as I know, it still counts it. I think there was a fix for Gorgeous Moon to not apply it every single time for the damage count. At least for my testing, it had way less damage than it used to have. You would reach values upwards of 40, 50 million with it. And when I tested it, I got to like 10 million maybe, 8 million. And that seemed a lot more realistic if you consider health of enemies. Okay, 4, 3, 2, 1. And now I'm also... Whoa. Now I'm also gonna pick up all the chests and hopefully I can maybe find another vacuum just to pick up the experience at the end of the 29 minute wave. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. Cooldown reduced by 0 0.1. Is it slightly laggy? Yeah, yeah, just slightly. Just very slightly. Can barely notice it. Oh my god, now this starts. Okay, let me go there. And base speed up. And... Ooh, did, did I get the chest? What? Did I... I think I just walked through the chest. Um, And the chest is gone. Interesting. 200! There we go! 201! 200, it's, it still keeps going. It, it doesn't stop. Oh! Now I got the chest that I walked on in the very beginning, where I said, it, it you know, that it skipped it, kind of. At level two, 234. Okay, okay, leveling up is done. That's why we just collected it. Okay, tap did work out here. Oh my god. I still have some chests to go, and there's so much- Oh my god, there's another vacuum. Do you see that? Yeah, I'll pick that up towards the end. Um, I'm having a slight issue where I can't find the vacuum. I don't know where it is. <laughs> yeah, that's the only issue I'm having. N nothing else. N n nothing else, trust me. Oh my god, I wonder how much damage we're doing now per shot. 460! Okay, um, yeah, this might need some reduction. It almost seems like it's just removing stuff. Do you see that over here? When I move, the experience just keeps disappearing. Do you see that? That's weird. If I go over here, does it appear again? It doesn't seem to be the case. And I don't think this is what it should do. Who? Huh? Huh? Okay... That is... That is interesting. How long do you think would it take to kill him? Okay, there's just experience appearing out of nowhere. I, I don't think it's a bug in the game or anything. I just think that I can't see it sometimes. Like, because of visual overload or something. But uh, that is quite interesting when I walk around and there's just experience popping up from the ground out of nowhere. Uh, they're, they're like, exactly like this, yeah. Uh, it's kind of hilarious. 
So you just have to keep in mind that on the top here, there's a number 22. If this actually ever goes to 23, yes, we did kill the Reaper. And a second Reaper joined the party. I sadly can't stand still. And I'm pretty sure this is because of his negative knockback. That he gets pulled in ever so slightly. Do you see that? Like when he jumps, that is not a pull-in, of course. That is just a gap in our beams. But yeah, he just gets pulled in slightly. And this is a negative knockback that I've referenced in a lot of the Reaper kill videos. Where if you have knockback, instead of pushing him away... Oh! That was close. He just gets pulled in. Keep in mind, we don't have a revive. If I die, it's just over. Okay, I think I found a very, very big experience gem. The chest had all accumulated. So vacuum is not needed here anymore. Level 300 on the weapon. There we go. Okay, I have a slight issue. Because the Reaper is walking closer and closer and closer. And I can't really move while I'm leveling up. I'll try to do it. The problem is you pretty much have to move frame perfect if you don't have a controller. Like you have to press at the very right moment. But the good thing is because it's so laggy it's actually a lot easier. Like do you see how I almost always do it? There we go. Uh, stop getting closer. Wait actually he can't kill me because I'm invulnerable. But I think if he gets into the inner circle then the weapon will not hit him anymore. Which means he will just run after me and I'm dead. Okay there we go. Oh my god, and there's still so much experience, what? So if I'm not mistaken, the Reaper should have 170 million health. Like, I think the first one spawned when I was level 260, times 655k. Uh, that is a lot, but the question is, how much damage are we doing here? So I think we are doing around 750 damage, I would say, and maybe 30 to 50 times a second. So it should only take 7,000 something seconds if the 30 times 750 is right. Man, this is actually, this is, um, uh, that will take a lot longer than I thought it would. It wouldn't be a big issue if I could just stand still and do nothing, but I have to move from time to time that he doesn't actually kill me. So, yeah, hmm. I think if I get closer, I might actually hit with more beams. There are so many damage numbers that you can't really determine how many damage numbers there are. Okay, um, I just tapped out, that's why it slowed down again. But I really hope my calculation was utterly wrong. If not, then this will take... 128 minutes, or in other words, more than 2 hours. Okay, I'll let, uh, let's, say, let's say I'll let it go to 40 minutes, but if we don't have a kill by then, which would only happen if I had the 30 hits per second utterly wrong, then I'll give up on it. Because my drive will run full, but it looks like I only played for 5 minutes against the Reapers. We're actually like nearly 20 minutes in. Look at the timer that it takes to go up here. Like for every single second. It's pretty much 3 to 4 seconds. I found the vacuum! Let's go! Okay, um... Yeah, it actually looks like I collected all experience on my own. Nice! Okay, I know, I know I said 40 minutes, but it, it's enough, okay? It, it's enough here. Let... Ooh... Oh no! We were so close to break over! Aww. Well, either way, that was an insane run. I absolutely loved it. In the next video, I'll do a uh, max out of the weapon, just with the vanilla game, you know? Where we go for everything that maxes it out and just see how powerful we can make it on different characters. And I think my goal will be to go for beams and not just damage, because damage would just be Pagnala, right? Because she gains the might bonus. So instead, I will just go for whatever synergizes the best without having the penalty that you need to level up to max out its damage as much as possible, which increases enemy health, 